All right, shalom. So first and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rachak, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations. Until the fourth, like Tabernacle of David, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Now, in this uh, video, um, this morning, you know, something made me pull out my camera on my phone because uh, days ago, you know, I had a suspicion and um, I was wondering if, you know, brothers in their uh, respective cities, if they were, you know, seeing what I was seeing. Now, early in the a.m., you know, I'm uh, usually en route to work. And I noticed that uh, in different parts of uh, the city, there are certain street lights that actually uh, light purple. And they're different than the other street lights, you know, which seemed kind of odd to me. Now, I remember asking brothers days ago if they were witnessing the same thing. And several brothers, you know, they confirmed that they see it in their cities as well. So what I did this morning was, you know, once I actually got to see these uh, lights, you know, I just pulled on my camera and just filmed them. And um, this is uh, me, uh, you know, getting off on an exit. And um, you see straight ahead up above these particular lights. So let me uh, play it real quick. This is uh, just 22 seconds long. <clears throat> And then um, I was able to film another one. Now notice, you know, look at the um, the reflection on the uh, the, the pavement. Right, you see the reflection of the light on the pavement and it's, you know, uh, radiant. It's, it's, it's uh, bluish purple in color. And, uh, you know, I thought about it. I was like, man, is this just, you know, am I just, uh, you know, am I tripping, am I bugging? You know, is, is my uh, tenfold antenna raising up? Like, <laughs> you know, help me understand this, right? Now the scriptures tell us not to be ignorant in a small matter nor a great matter. So, uh, you know, I want to do a little searching just to see, you know, what this is, because every other street light, the LED, you know, it comes on normal, you know, a bright light, regular bright light, but they don't all light ultraviolet like you see with a few of these street lights. So um, you go to YouTube, and there was they was actually uh, talking about this on the uh, the news, right? Now, this is the narrative that mainstream news is actually given about this particular phenomenon. Apparently, this is some type of um, manufacturing defect from the LED, you know. But these lights were, were are fairly new, right? So why is there uh, defects already in the technology? When these are fairly new, so it, it doesn't add up, but you can listen to this uh, news clip so you can listen to the narrative that they're putting out there through mainstream news, which we all know mainstream news is never to be trusted. Right. But uh, let's uh, play this real quick. This is in um, Florida. Well, purple lights are being spotted all along stretches of I-4. Some drivers say the lights are so noticeable it's a distraction. Fox 35's Danielle Lama looks into what's causing it. 
It's hard to miss in some areas. You're driving along I-4 when the lights on the highway turn purple. After dark driving with a purple view in Central Florida. It was fine and then all of a sudden the purple lights came out of nowhere. This violet hue is taking over on some areas of I-4. This stretch is near Daytona Beach. Drivers have no idea why. I honestly thought it was just because it's I-4. I thought it was like special because of I-4. Officials tell us these lights are actually not supposed to be purple. The Florida Department of Transportation says there's a defect in the LED lights. It's caused street lights all over the place to go from standard white to purple. That particular defect is um, impacting a few lights in our eastern North Carolina area, Florida, and the Midwest. It's not. So these are just uh, defects in the manufacturing. Is, is it meant to just stay in place? Like, so it's cool? Or do they plan on switching the lights out and putting in... Uh, Working lights, <laughs> you know, regular lights, you know, because certain questions are going through my head. OK, so if this is just, you know, uh, an error within the manufacturing of the LED, you know, something's went wrong. Why flood these different cities with these type of lights? You know, so I believe this is a narrative that they're, uh, you know, running with. All right, and, and, and I mean the scriptures tell us about how this devil will. Um, let me real quick. Let's go to Psalms. Let me get Psalms fifty-two. Psalms fifty-two and verse um. Y'all read verse two, it says, thy tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Thou lovest evil more than good and lying rather than to speak righteousness, Salah. You know, and, and they stay lying, you know, in the mainstream news. They'll tell the public what they want the public to hear so that you don't question anything, you know. Um, Let's get uh, another one. Because one of the characteristics of this devil is falsehood, deception. Now, he lies like no other. Psalms 144 and 11, it says, Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouths speak of vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. And let me get one more. Let's go to Job 15 and verse 35. And it says, They conceive mischief and bring forth vanity, and their belly prepare deceit. You know, so they expect you to take anything that the mainstream news report as fact, as true, as gospel. And if you go against that particular narrative, it's, con it's considered uh, misinformation and dismissed. So it's, it's meant, you know, the, the, the mind programming through mainstream media is meant to keep the masses from uh, thinking for themselves, you know, using critical thinking and questioning every everything. So this is supposed to be some defect so that we all supposed to just ignore, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. But we wasn't this wasn't a thing uh, uh, three years ago, three, four years ago. All right. So let's uh, finish and then uh, we'll come back. Just FDOT dealing with the issue. Several utility companies are also repairing and replacing purple lights. Duke Energy says it's happening in newer LEDs that were installed within the last couple of years. Obviously, we're looking into this and working with that particular vendor to better understand what happened and try to prevent it from happening again. FDOT says in Central Florida, 300 of their lights have turned purple, affecting five highway interchanges. They're working to get it fixed so that pop of light during your commute may soon be gone. They're beautiful. I love them. It's a little bit hard to see, but I prefer the white lights. Yeah, it's bullshit. So they're going to fix them. You, you put something new in only for it to be a defect, and then you claim you're going to come back and fix them. But they're, but they're new. Why would something new need fixing? So 
I don't believe I don't believe this narrative. And we should know by now not to trust our enemy. All right. Let's say should get an advantage of us for we're not ignorant of his devices. Now, speaking of the device, I came across this, you know, as I was doing my searching. And look what it says here. This is um dealing with patents that you can find on Google. All right, it's known as the US 20120250948A1. And it says the system and method for biometric identification using ultraviolet image data. So they have a way of actually tracking, you know, information, all right, through this biometric technology using ultraviolet light. And I remember there was uh, videos going around years ago after that was, you know, pushing it worldwide to get the that stuff, all right, put injected into you. And um, people, they were actually using ultraviolet lights and they were shining it on the areas of their body where they actually got the stuff. And when they would actually flash the light over it, it would actually be radiant. It would it it, it would be very um bright. You know, and, and their vein would would also be uh, lit under that particular light. But the other parts of the body, it was just you, you didn't see that same lighting, but just around the area where they got the stuff. So I thought that was real interesting. So why all of a sudden we're seeing these ultraviolet lights lighting. In these uh, street lights, right? And then look at this. It says um, application US 13076725 events. And it says application filed by Raytheon Co. So the, the name of the company that patent this, known as Raytheon Company. Now, when you actually break that word down, Raytheon. The word ray means light, beams of light. And the word theon goes back to theo or theos, which means God. So you break that down. You 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 tell me what that is, is going into. All right. Light of the God or, or you know, the beam, beam of light God. Or, you know, you basically you can put two and two together. Right. And then let's read, th let's read this now. It says, a system and method for biometric identification of a target individual based on a query containing UV image data of the target individual. So this is what I really believe that these lights are set up for. Even though this is the narrative that they're pushing out, it's just a defect. We're going to get it fixed. Don't worry about it. Don't panic. Right. Don't worry about it. Don't get suspicious. But we know that this is a, a, a the way they're um, constructing this, this new system, you know, which is uh, around the world, everything becoming uh, biometric by the minute. You know, facial recognition technology, you know, cameras all over the place, kiosk, you know. All this digital technology is for biometric purposes, for data gathering. So this, this is what this is really going into. All right. And, uh, you know, we can't be ignorant of uh, Satan's devices as it is written. OK. And what is it? Are they trying to detect? Because eventually they're going to want everybody to be identified. And they're going to be identifying through a particular thing. Right? Because uh, when we go into that prophecy, and y'all know what prophecy I'm getting into, it talks about how the, the, this beast is going to cause everybody to receive this, this mark, this branding. And it's going to be able to identify all individuals who, who pretty much uh, serve the beast you know it's, it's it's for identification purposes i mean uh a brand mark is for 
identifying cattle. Is that not correct? Let me go to, um, let me go here real quick. Galatians uh, 6. And that uh, was a 17. Yeah, uh, Galatians 6 and 17, it says, From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Right? And of course, he's speaking figuratively, but he uses this the word for marks, which is uh, stigma in the Greek. And the word stigma, it says a mark incised or punched for recognition of ownership. I.e. figuratively scar of service. And then down here it says a mark pricked in or branded upon the body to ancient oriental usage. Slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked cut into their bodies to indicate. Right. Or to identify what master or general they belong to. And there were even some devotees. Who stamped themselves in this way with the token of their gods. So this was a way to, identi to identify uh, your slaves or your cattle. Okay. Let me um. Let me go here real quick. Let me go to the law. Leviticus nineteen. In 28, it says, you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. You go to that word uh, marks in the Hebrew, which is uh, the Hebrew word kwai kwai. It says an incision or gash, incision, imprintment, tattoo, mark. All right. So. <clears throat> he has a, a, a this is a way of actually identifying and just years ago you know you had to have qr code you had to have a, um, a passport so this right here using this technology will be able to identify based on and let me, let me matter of fact let me keep reading this it says in one embodiment the system indicates a first database a query model a detection model a sequence module in a match module, the first database includes a plurality of identities with each identity having at least one binary sequence representative of a skin area of that identity. A skin area. Now remember uh, that that demon, uh, uh, Yuval Noah Harari, he was talking about surveillance under the skin and you've had other uh higher ups that all you know echoed that same thing you know biometrics surveillance under the skin uh skin we need digital identity and they're trying to you know amalgamate technology with with man so they're they're setting the stage the technology is 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 now being rolled out. They're converting your stores into all digital cashless stores. And now when you on the street, when you're driving through the streets at night or in the morning or, or whenever, them lights come on, you think it's just an ordinary light. But this is what they're they're doing. So now you can understand what the purpose of this really all you know, what is the purpose of all this? And I'll leave a link to this in the description. Hopefully they don't try to uh, strike this down. All right. This is devil. He's being exposed on, on, on a daily basis. It says the, the, the query module receives the query and validates the UV image data. The detection module detects at least one skin area in the UV image data. The sequence module forms at least one target binary sequence corresponding to the at least one skin area. The match module searches the first database uh, based on at least one target binary sequence to identify at least one identity, thereby facilitating 
biometric identification of the target individual. All right, so you you devils, man. <laughs> you you know you try to put these things you know right up under our nose, but uh, you know there's a spirit out that's you know constantly uh, you know searching things out. And the scriptures say, uh, search out all his wickedness till thou find none. I believe that's in Psalms 10 and uh, verse 15. So all your all your hidden things is being uh, searched out. All right. It's all being searched out and found out. And and, and this, this is how you know that the man of sin is being revealed. With all his schemes and devices. It says classifications right here it says human or animal bodies, e.g. vehicle occupants or pedestrians body parts. So you see it has vehicle vehicle occupants. So you got them under them street lights. So if we driving up under it, uh, up under those lights, they can identify. So that's what that's really for. While they're telling you something completely different in the media. Okay. So um, you know it, it pretty much goes on the same say the same thing. You know, kind of repeating it. So <clears throat> yeah, we can't be uh, ignorant of any uh, small thing or great. And let me get this in uh, Job, because this is all about him tracing and tracking everything. He's trying to move like he's the most high. Even with the name of that company, Raytheon, right? Uh, 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 the, the, the light of the God or gods. So he's trying to be like the most high, man. Let me get uh, Job 13 and 27, and I'm going to read it in the, uh, was it the NIV? NLT It is uh, Job 13 and 27 Says you put my feet in stocks You examine all my paths You trace all my footprints You know so You know he wants to Monitor and, and surveil Keep everything under his eye Alright Trying to basically watch us But the most High is watching you He's watching you And every move that you're making now the Lord's gonna bring a He gonna bring an end to your entire enterprise. You know, Job the twentieth chapter. That that's your fate. All right, but we see what 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 this devil was putting in place, and a lot of people they wouldn't think nothing of it. You know. So I thought I'd, you know, do my search. You know, after having my suspicion, and now we see what it is crystal clear. All right, and um. Yeah, you just move accordingly, man. So we here, man. They're they're really setting setting this all up. All right. So if if you see it in your in your city, you happen to be rolling through, and it's you know night or early morning before the sun, you know before dawn, you might possibly run into these lights. All right. So uh, anyway, Lord willing, y'all were edified. I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all, Bashim Shai. And to the next lesson, I say, Shalom.